Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and today I am going to tell you why I have been MIA for the last month is because I have been working on my walk-in closet in my master bedroom and so today's video is an extreme closet makeover because I think it is extreme. I went from having basically no storage in this huge walk-in closet reasonable size walk-in closet to having so much storage in there and so many places to put things and a home for everything. And I want to show you guys exactly how I did that and how you can do it in your own closet, no matter what size it is. And no matter whether you rent or you own your home, you can totally do this project. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that. Make sure you hit the bell so that you're on for notifications so that each time I upload a video, you're notified. Real quickly, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who leaves comments on my videos. It is so encouraging and uplifting. I love the positive and constructive feedback that you guys leave me. I know that it takes time to write these things out and I just wanna tell you that it means so much to me. I can't express that enough. I'm like getting a little teary-eyed right now. Also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I would love if you did that. I am at Bell and Cotton on Instagram. And I know a lot of you guys have said that you love seeing my son, Miles. I always share him on my stories. I also always share my projects, things that I'm doing in real time so that you guys can kind of know what to expect in my next video. It gives you a little sneak peek and that is always really fun. So first, let me show you the closet before I started this project. I had wire shelving. This is very standard builder's grade stuff that you'll find in most closets and houses that haven't been upgraded. And there really was nowhere to put things. So we had plastic hangers, just everything was just kind of either hung or it was in our dresser, which was another situation. Like we had to leave the closet to use the dresser, like walk out of the closet to go to the dresser and then back into the closet for something. And then, oh, I need socks and go back to the dresser. And so now we are getting rid of the dresser and we have everything in the closet, which is really great, but it was just extremely unorganized. And I don't really think the problem was that it wasn't organized, but it just, the bones of the closet weren't there. I have been on Pinterest pinning pictures of closets. Let me show you guys real quick my closet board. This was all of my inspiration for this closet. I knew that I liked white. I knew that I wanted everything to be white. I knew that I wanted it built in. I knew that I wanted drawers. I wanted to get rid of the dresser so that we weren't going back and forth between the closet and the dresser constantly. I knew I wanted to keep my jewelry in there. These were just all of my inspiration pictures to kind of decide what look I was going for. I realized after going back through these pictures when I was really serious about doing this project that a lot of these pictures were pictures of the pack system at Ikea. I did some research, I looked at the price of that. I also went ahead and I looked at what Home Depot has to offer, what California Closet has to offer, what the container store has to offer. And all in all, I decided that Ikea system was gonna be for me. And I used two different systems in this closet and I'll show you why I use the two different systems in a little bit once I give you the tour of the closet. But I want you to know that no matter whether you rent or you own, you can still use both of these systems in your closet. And so depending on the size of your closet and your budget, you would either go with the pack system or the ALGOT. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, A-L-G-O-T, <laughs> the ALGOT system. So what I did to get started on this closet, I knew that I wanted to install the pack system in one side of the closet and the ALGOT on the other. I wanted the pack system to look built in. That's the first thing that we were gonna see when we walked into our closet. I wanted drawers, I wanted a place for jewelry, and I wanted it to look like it was built in. So if you rent, you obviously would not want to do this part. But what I did, what I did, and since we own our home, I went ahead and I removed all of the quarter round and the baseboards in the closet. I actually had to remove a lot more than I wanted to because of the way that the baseboards were installed. They were kind of overlapping and because I was only removing them on one side of the closet, I had to start on the other side of the closet and remove all of them. But I went ahead and took all of that out. I built my pack system. Please make sure that when you build your pack system, this is just a little tip, build it in your closet. I think it says that in the instructions and I must have missed that. I have a six month old, my mind is like gone most of the time. I accidentally built it outside of the closet in our bedroom and then tried to move it in and that was so frustrating and crazy. And I actually damaged it in the process of taking it back apart. So, you know, Ikea furniture is really great for the price, but it is made to be put together 
like one time and not be taken apart and put back together. But once I got the pack system in, I was a little hasty. We didn't have a lot of places to put our clothes. So in some of this footage, you're gonna see that we actually had our clothes in the closet before I was done with it. I needed to put our clothes somewhere, which was fine. I didn't get paint on anything, thank God. But I went ahead and I framed the system in and I had seen a couple of blogs on this. A couple of people have done this and they painted them really fun colors and even wallpapered the back of it. But I wanted, I knew from my Pinterest board that I wanted it to be really clean and really white. So what I did was I got common boards from Home Depot and I framed the entire system in. I caulked it so that I covered all of the lines, all of the seams and I painted it as well. I used White Dove from Benjamin Moore in a semi-gloss and it matches the pack system almost perfectly. I'm really happy with it. And once I was done with that, I went ahead and I put the baseboards back on, caulked around those, the quarter round, and it looks like it is meant to be in there. And I would actually show you like a full on tutorial of this if I thought that it would be helpful. The problem is that everybody's closet is different. It really wouldn't be helpful for me to show you dimensions and really break this down. The great thing about Ikea and using the pack system is they have an application on their website. You can go on, you can actually put in the dimensions of your closet and you can build this and see how it will look before you do that. So that's what I did. It was so helpful because we do have an Ikea in this area now, but we didn't before. And if you don't have an Ikea near you, it's really hard <laughs> to order this stuff online. So having the PAX planner makes your life so much easier. So if you're planning to do this, make sure that you go on Ikea's website, use their PAX planner. Do not use Safari on your Mac. Make sure you have Chrome. It does not work with Safari for some reason. And the reason I did an open shelving system on the other side of the closet is because we didn't have enough room to use a pack system there as well. It would have been really nice to use the pack system on both sides, but I didn't have the room. So I wanted something with shelving and I wanted a place to put long dresses and coats and things like that. And so I went with the Algot system and they also have a planner on the Ikea website. You can take a look at that. That was also very helpful and it was much, much cheaper. So if you're on a really, really, really tight budget, Algot is really inexpensive. So now I wanna take you guys on a tour of the closet and show you how everything turned out. As you come into the closet, I have this chair here, which is a little larger than um, what I really need. Eventually I'll replace it, but that's there for now. Here is the pack system side, and those are all of the drawers there that will replace our dresser or have replaced our dresser. This is my side here, and I have my shirts up there. And then I have a couple of storage boxes for off season items. And so on my side, I have you know a glass shelf here so you can actually see through, which I really like. Um, this top shelf, it opens up and I have all of my jewelry in here, which I got rid of a lot. I don't really have a lot of jewelry. I would like to have nicer jewelry. A lot of this is costume. I don't like hanging my necklaces necessarily, so having them laid out so I can see them is really a nice little perk to this. And then I got these handles from Amazon. I'll link those below. I just installed them into... Um, the drawer you can see the screw on the back i just drilled in screwed them in and they came out really nice and this bottom drawer i actually put some of my shoes and flats and things it's nice to have them hidden away and not out on display then my husband's side he has a very professional job so he has ties that he wears every day and then he is a big um watch person so he has all of his watches there his work shirts, and then he has his storage box on top as well. And then we have a nice big long mirror here, floor to ceiling, which I highly recommend. This makes the space look a little bigger. If you have the room for a mirror in your closet, you should put it in there. A nice rug that I just had laying around. It really works in here. It's the perfect length. And this side is the Algot system that I was talking about. I have some shoes up top. And then here hanging are all of my long dresses, kimonos. I even have my wedding dress hanging, um, which I need to really store away. I think it's always been a dream of mine to have matching wooden hangers. So I got these at Ikea. They were like $4.50 for an eight pack, really, really reasonable. And then we have some shelves on this side. So my husband has some of his items here, shorts and jeans and things like that. And then I have the bottom two shelves here where I have shorts, a handbag, and then some jeans down here as well. And then I love that there's this 
like shorter hanging rack here for pants. My husband wears, you know, slacks to work every day. So he has that section down there for pants. And then I did install this light here from Ikea. It was only 15 bucks. I just didn't really like the other one that was in here. This made more sense. And then I got on Amazon and I got these, check that out, under cabinet lights that are like motion activated. I did get the wrong color. So these are so sort of like a silver color. And this light here is more of like a warm color. I need to exchange these or order some other ones. So just keep that in mind. I'll link these below, but if you decide to order them, whether or not you want a silver, more cool light or a warm light, because I just missed that whole detail. One thing I noticed when doing my research on the pack system is that people were leaving these holes in them and Ikea actually sells little pieces that go into them. So once you have your system built and you have everything in position how you want it, you can actually take these and stick them into these holes so you don't see them. I will link those below as well. That is pretty much everything for the closet. I am just absolutely loving this. Um, installing the Algot system was really, really simple and easy. It was a long project, but it was so worth it. I love coming in here now. I feel like, and my husband said this, and I think this is true. I feel like every time we use our closet, we are like shopping in a store. It just feels like exciting. I don't know if that will fade away, but um, it makes you want to have an essential wardrobe, a more minimal wardrobe. It makes you really excited to get dressed in the morning and it just feels good to have spaces in your house that are inviting, that are functional, all of that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next project.